Hello and welcome to Draw 526 here in beautiful Budroom. We're in 11 Farm One Court in Budroom in, on the Sunshine Coast. I can't wait to show you through. We have Lizzie behind the camera who is our new content creator at Your Town. So welcome Lizzie. Hi everyone. Thanks for coming here today and we just can't wait to show you through this gorgeous property that has been a beautiful three bird renovation by the previous owner. So let's come and have a look. Let's have a look at the garage first, Lizzie. I know that Clay has done a bit of a walk through in through here, but just to highlight that we have Great storage along the back there, and we have all the fly screens there ready to go. After the winner um, is announced, we get all the windows cleaned, we'll put the fly screens back on, ready for the lucky winner on the 22nd of May. This is first prize is valued at $2.7 million. That includes a massive $200,000 in gold bullion. So what a great prize, what a great way to start off kicking into winter at this beautiful property. So come on in, Lizzie, let's have a look. And Clay has done a walkthrough on the garden, so we won't be taking you around the garden today, but have a look at this amazing entry. You've got these gorgeous sandstone stepping stones all the way through. And what an entry. Come through and welcome through to this beautiful home. And as you come through, I just want you to really have a look at the height of the ceilings here and the beautiful, you know, the, the light and this stonework that's been put together. It just feels elegant and you walk in and just just automatically feels amazing now this home has been inspired as in the design um, from our slim aaron's artwork which i'll show you a little bit more about that later um, but have a look through we've got this gorgeous flooring all the way through the property we've got carpet through most of the home as well in the bedrooms and um, the lounge room so come through this is our guest bedroom so they're on the lower level so we've got three bedrooms upstairs and our fourth bedroom is here, which is our guest bedroom, but absolutely massive. You've got your own little sort of door out to the front garden. So if you wanted that as a teenage space, um, they could have access to that without having to come through the house as well. And all the way along here, we've got bundles and bundles of storage here as well. Hanging, drawers, cupboards in here as well. Excellent. And then we've got this amazing ensuite also. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it's great having that bedroom downstairs. Those that don't want to make this, the trek upstairs, it's certainly great. And such a, a big space, I said, you know, for a teenager or a grandparent, or even if you wanted to, you know, uh, let that this room out, you could have access to the front yard and be able to enter through this, this doorway as well. So you want a great space and I can't wait to show you through the rest of the property. And now we're going to walk through to our beautiful uh, ent study and entertainment area. But firstly, I just want to show you this beautiful look um, nook here. That What a great reading nook. You can sit here, how comfortable is this beautiful space? And I really love this feature of, of this home. It's just gorgeous, the cushions and, you know, lay here and read a book, it's beautiful. We've got storage here as well, either side. So for your linen or books or anything you want to put, so these gorgeous floors. And we'll, we'll take you through to the living space first, but first I'll show you the study. The study is absolutely gorgeous. Could easily be a, another bedroom as well. Um, we've obviously styled it as a study. There's no robe in here, but plenty of room in here. Great office space, great, great home office. Um, you could even put another TV in here, really, if you just want a quiet space. But yeah, plenty of space in here to come through. And then we'll go through here. We've got another powder room down here and our laundry. And this powder room would service your, from your pool area. So you've got the laundry through to here. So that goes out to our pool area. And then you've got this gorgeous, you've got your drying space here, the ironing, got storage all the way up here. You your washer and dryer and more storage under the sink as well and above. And then we've got all these broom cupboards and cleaning cupboards. So you can see Clay's kept all this cleaning stuff so you can keep the house looking beautiful. And also in here as well, plenty of storage. So. Certainly no shortage and they've done an amazing job in this renovation to make sure they've got plenty of storage. So you come through and then we've got the powder room there. I'll let you go through Lizzie. And again, that's so if you were out by the pool, you wouldn't need to stretch through the house too much. It's just coming through from the pool area to your powder room. 
So now we'll head through to our living space. Um, it's gorgeous and uh, very much styled in the theme of Slim Aaron. So um, we've got a book here that comes through, comes with the home obviously. So a little Slim Aaron style. And you can see by a lot of the artwork has been inspired by that as well. So very trendy um, and very cool. And, then, and look at these gorgeous, the yellow cushions. They've been beautifully chopped. <laughs> um, and this, this gorgeous living space down here. You've got the, you know, your TV, you've got your little book stands over there as well, which have been beautifully styled, but you can easily put your books and um, DVDs and everything in here. And we've got the built-in storage as well. So for those that like gaming, it can fit an Xbox and those sorts of things in here as well. Um, and you've got your outdoor area. It's got beautifully styled outside with the stones and the greenery. And we've got blinds on these as well, so block out any of the elements that need to be. But it's a beautiful day here at Budroom. And um, certainly, yeah, even though there's a little chill in the air starting, it's, um, it's still pretty warm here in Budroom in the middle of autumn, which is great. So don't forget this drawer closes on the 21st of May um, and drawn on the 22nd of May. So just after Mother's Day, what a, what a great prize it would be. $2.7 million worth of first prize. And that includes everything you see in the house plus $200,000 in gold bullion. So what a great prize uh, and what a great way to, to start off kicking into winter to have a beautiful home like this. Okay, now there's a little controversy with our donkey. <laughs> How cute is it? We, um, we, we do love him. It's kind of quirky, it adds in with this Slim Aaron's theme. Um, yeah, he's, he's quite a cute sitting there in our entry of our, of our kitchen space and dining. So we'll walk through, we'll do, we're gonna do a separate video on the full detail of the kitchen, but we'll, we'll show a little bit of the elements of it, but how good is this dining space, Lizzie? We've got six, well, four spaces here, but you've got this great window seat here that could fit a tribe of people as well. And, and you know, imagine having a beautiful family meal overlooking the pool and this gorgeous skylight we've got above the kitchen. The natural light is absolutely stunning in this home. The ceilings, the way they've elevated that. And here we've got our we've got a little storage here for our pantry items. We've got our Mitsubishi fridge. We've got our pantry through to here. A walk-in pantry. Lots of storage all the way underneath. And then I'll show you through it in full detail. Sorry, something in front of you, Lizzie. These cute little um, accessories. And I just certainly do love these gorgeous little glassware for your mocktail or cocktail and then all the way storage all the way along but we will do a full detail of the kitchen but how could you could imagine sitting here standing here you know, preparing your family meal overlooking the pool and entertainment um, it's such a great space and then out, out to this gorgeous deck and greenery it's just beautiful so peaceful we you know we're in we're in Budroom I feel like we could be up in the hills somewhere. It's so quiet and peaceful and this gorgeous green space that you've got to block off. So if you had, you know, young children, you would, you know, you can keep them secure away from the pool yard and they've got their own little space so they could still have a little game of cricket, you know, maybe even a little trampoline in the back here as well. But yeah, gorgeous little space here for this, this amazing um, dining and kitchen area. So our next part, we'll start taking you through out to the pool area and then we'll, we'll look upstairs. Okay, Lizzie, let's head out to the pool area. So you've got this great entryway. And then so back out to, we can see where the laundry entry to go through to the bathroom. And this is, it's like another kitchen um, space out here. You've got this amazing dining experience with those window box seats as well as the four seats around this you know, really large dining table. We've got this kitchenette here as well. So you've got your bar fridge. Um, got your Smeg coffee machine, got your ice bucket, got your sink and a beautiful beef eater barbecue. So you really wouldn't even need to go inside. You, do, you can do all your food prep out here. Um, great for those, those winter roasts, um, but also you know, having a barbie here on a, on a weekend or at night and, and it feels like even another room out here as well. And then have a look at that beautiful space out to that pool. It's a glorious day. You know, the brightness of the yellow pops with the blue water and the greenery. It certainly feels like we're living in a resort here. Okay, Lizzie, we've got some great stuff to show upstairs. I feel like we've seen such a beautiful part of the living space downstairs, but 
wait, there's more. Not only is there bedrooms up here, there's also an extra living space as well. So let's come and have a look at this living uh, area. This is their upstairs lounge room. Again, what a great TV. That beautiful light is absolutely stunning as you walk into that entrance. And how, look at this lounge, it's so comfortable. Oh, I could easily sit here for the afternoon. Gorgeous. And you know, got the view out to the greenery outside. Got the outdoor blinds and indoor blinds as well. And the shears. And then, you know, out to another entertainment space. So there's certainly no, no area that you could, um, you know, well, there's, actually there's plenty of area that you can hide in. And if you need to get away from anyone in, in the house, you've got your own spaces here. So we've got a, a beautiful outdoor space that again, you look at the greenery and just have some quiet time, whether it be entertaining or just personal use, it's certainly um, a nice relaxing space. And then we'll walk through, we've got another little entry over here to the master bedroom. Um, and an extra, extra little t outdoor table as well. But we'll, we'll head back inside, we'll go back to the other bedrooms and the bathroom, and then we'll have a look at, um, we'll come out and, and finish out here on the deck again. Yeah. Okay, well, before we head over to our other bedrooms, I just wanted to show you the floor, and we have carpet here in, in the lounge room as well for that, for that warmth. And then we, yeah, we've got the timber flooring all the way through the rest of the property. And the bedrooms, we have carpet as well. So here we have our next bedroom. Gorgeous, lovely, lovely styling. Again, these the bright pastels are absolutely gorgeous. And we have our robes either side. And as you can see, the pillow cases are, are here. The beds are made, ready for the lucky winner. Our, our last winner was able to move in the next day, so it's always um, as soon as that, you know, the, the drawer is done, they can move in straight away. So it's exciting that we make sure everything's ready for them. This is our bathroom, beautifully styled. And just the archway of that mirror, Lizzie, is really cool. And these gorgeous tiles, absolutely stunning. And then we've got our next bedroom. Again, with the beautiful pastels. And we've got the robes as well. And every every child that we ever bring through a property, they always pick their bedroom. So I'd be interested to see which bedroom you'd pick. Okay, let's go through our master bedroom. So this is a four bedroom home. Obviously got the one on the lower level and three up here. And then we've got our master suite. So you know, this is master. We've got plenty of storage here. Oops. In here and drawers, and then we've got hanging space, and then we've got more drawers and cupboards there. And then as we'll swing around, we'll go maybe which way do we go? Well, maybe we'll go this way to the bedroom. <laughs> we've got this master bedroom, how luxurious! And then get out to your gorgeous little courtyard as well. You can sit out there and have your morning coffee, and it's absolutely stunning. And this cute little chair, you know, put your, morning, put your shoes on in the morning, sit there and read a book. And then we go through to our walk-in robe, another walk-in robe as well. So we've got the same, we've got matching walk-in robes, one at the entry and one over here. Same thing, we've got lots of drawers. And these are these really cool Your Town bathrobes. So yeah, the winner will get these. We have two of them, so uh, they certainly um, think of everything when it comes to moving in and gorgeous space into the, the ensuite. So we've got a twin shower, we've got the overhead shower plus the, the other shower head, hand piece as well. And these gorgeous vanities and beautiful mirrors here as well that have an LED a light in the back of them as well. So absolutely stunning. And then through to the, to the bathroom as well. So yeah, we'll end back out on the deck and have a, you know, think about this beautiful home and whether you can see yourself moving in here on the 22nd of May. It certainly is a beautiful home and, the, and the, we certainly love the styling and, 
and thank you for buying tickets. If it wasn't for you, we would not be powering Kids Helpline. So thank you so much and we good luck in the draw and we can't wait to be handing over the keys on the 22nd of May.